April the 3rd is the 39th day of Russia's large-scale war against Ukraine and the 39th day of the genocide of the Ukrainian people. On Sunday, the Russian military launched an artillery strike on Kharkov, the regional center in the east of the country. According to preliminary data, seven people were killed and 34 others were wounded. Three children were among the injured. The occupants used multiple rocket launchers to hit Mikolaev, the regional center in the south of the country. This time, they hit the central district of the city and residential areas. The shell got stuck in the asphalt and in the trees, breaking the windows of buildings. At least one person was killed and 11 were injured, including a child. The town of Achakiv near Mikolaev was also shelled. There are also dead and wounded there. The number has not yet been reported. Odessa, the regional center on the Black Sea coast, was also attacked on Sunday. Several cruise missiles were launched at the city from Russian ships based in the Black Sea. The shells triggered several fires and damaged an oil storage tank and oil refinery. Pillars of black smoke could be seen over the city from Apa for several hours. Ukrainian singers Vedaslav Vakarchuk showed this in a video. At least 410 bodies of murdered civilians were removed from the territory of the Kiev region, where the occupants carried out a ruthless massacre. Hundreds of men shot, women raped and killed, dead children. According to eyewitnesses, the racists have no mercy to, on anyone. Нас там жіночка варила їсти біля під'їзду. І коли вона варила, вона їх не побачила, вони підійшли ззаду і сказали їй сти чи як. То вона з переляку, як побачила їх, вскочила у під'їзд і закрила, ну, а вони їй в догонку автоматну чергу і через двері її вбили. Нас трьох з малим поклали там на землю і прямо біля голови стріляли. Старих розход. Старих розход. А малого забирає. The dead civilians in Bucha lie in the yards, near the houses under the road. The occupants have even set up separate rooms to mock the civilians. The Ukrainian military found such torture in one of the houses in Bucha. Here, in one room, the racists interrogated civilians, torturing them. In another, they executed them with a shot to the head. <laughs> Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba has already called on the International Criminal Court and other international organizations to send missions to Bucha in the Kyiv region to gather evidence of war crimes against the Ukrainian people. It was impossible to imagine this in the 21st century, but it is happening before our eyes. Russia is worse than ISIS. The Russians were also killing the residents of Irpin, Kyiv region, with particular cruelty. According to the mayor of the city, the occupants shot women and girls in the streets and then drove tanks over them. Because of the revealed brutalities of the occupiers, President Volodymyr Zelensky emotionally addressed the Russians. I want to see every mother, every Russian soldier, who saw the bodies of killed in Bucha, in Irpin, in Gostu. What did they do? Why did they kill them? Что сделал мужчина, который ехал по улице на велосипеде? Зачем пытали до смерти обычных мирных людей в обычном мирном городе? Зачем душили женщин после того, как вырывали у них из ушей сети? Как можно было насиловать женщин и убивать их на глазах у детей? Издеваться над их телами даже после смерти? Due to numerous crimes, Ukraine demands an immediate embargo on energy resources from Russia disconnect all Russian banks from SWIFT and close ports to Russian ships. Animals also continue to suffer from the actions of the Russian occupiers. More than 300 dogs have died of hunger and thirst in a shelter in Kyiv region. <laughs> At the Borodyanka shelter, animals spent a month in a cages without food or water while the town was occupied by Russian troops. 
neither civilians nor volunteers were allowed to rescue the animals. Baradanha has just been liberated from the occupiers and two of our volunteers were able to get into the shelter and check the situation. It turned out that some of the dogs were alive, although in serious condition, but many were dead, dying in agony. According to preliminary data, out of 485 dogs, only 148 survived. New evidence of large-scale acts of looting by the Rashists. Dmitry Komarov, a well-known Ukrainian TV host, published images from Gostomol in the Kyiv region, which was liberated from the occupants. In an apartment complex where Russian army soldiers were based, not a single apartment was left without being robbed. Also, during the fighting, the Ukrainian military repelled a Russian APC on which the occupiers were trying to take out loot. Frying pans and feminine hygiene products were found inside the military vehicles. Where can you find a safe place if your city is under siege? Is it an unusual residential building? No. In hospitals or schools? No. In a theater, the heart of your city. Far away from any military objects. Yes, that's a good idea. Is there any other way we could warn Russian pilots about kids hiding in the theater? Yes, capital letters, in Russian. That way we will definitely be safe. But only if murdering our children isn't their goal. <laughs>